the moment gear is up right so let's do okay the warning light in transition is moving and then all green lights all right so gear should be down that's very tight here hey everyone welcome back to simpid academy so today we look at the landing gear panel this is similar to the one i did for the f15e uh, in terms of concept like <clears throat> having a knob and for the landing gear itself i am not doing like a transparent one with wires and leds in there um it's kind of troublesome so i just use a long flat lever uh, toggle and then i print this in black paint it red okay put it over it then i add a light uh, a red light to indicate the warning light when it's when the gear is in transition and when it's up it's green obviously this won't happen both at the same time um, rather you do a light test and everything lights up and here we have the helios uh, monitor behind right so starting with the top left we have a small toggle we have a divider um, we have this short flat lever toggle uh, three-way and then push button and this toggle both need to be raised okay because the height it looks like this one but this one is actually shorter the height uh, will be protruding the legs will be protruding out and poking at the monitor so all the panels for the front console um, they at the bottom they need to sit flush right and not poke into the monitor so whenever necessary i'll raise things up so i raise these two everything else these are all um somehow short enough um this i do not want to raise the whole thing like the ahcp because <clears throat> we don't want this panel to be too thick right the view um to the monitor we don't want it to, to, to be too far away so only when necessary you raise the necessary ones so these two are raised everything else is fine and also um i need to build this um led holder i decided to use two leds don't need for three because the ones i use are dome shaped and very bright uh, one is not enough one you will shine only in the middle so you have two and then you have three of this right um and then you put the ladder like this one mm thick uh sorry three mm thick and then the ladder one mm and then you place it in here i have this um two support here you do um just at the side to prevent it from falling and then the most of the body is exposed to the light from behind right so this can be printed in black and then you paint the paint inside white to help reflect light this is printed clear and then spray painted top uh black obviously paint the sides black as well to prevent to help reduce leak and um then you file away the a flat file file away the text right then the light will be exposed all right so let's take a look at how to build we need to to build an led holder and two knobs okay <clears throat> so using the uh once again the pdf that uh romeo kilio um shared online um, pdf use svg as you see from the previous video how i do that uh, svg trace it path to object and then save as svg here in freecad we import the svg we select the necessary ones as the outline okay 
and as usual you select that as a sketch so once you select as a sketch um see if you need to adjust like my screws from that holds the top panel to the back plate is always 3.6 right so all the ones in purple squares here uh, change to 3.6 you adjust uh, this um, whole size accordingly these are for the small two small toggles another one here this is slightly bigger 6.5 this is still 6 all right um, then this one the default shape is you see this black line I shifted it left by 1 mm right by 1 mm the default is 12 right so just to squeeze in you have a center LED holder another LED holder so um, it becomes too tight to fit so you just shift to the left uh, I trim the middle one so that they both share the same rim so don't have to do too much now when you pat this cut out when you pat you pat down okay as as explained in most of my videos you do that then um, the text you pad up the panel you pad down so now you select you click on see which one lights up okay turns green and then you select them as uh, text all right so you pad up and then this one you add two circles uh, the default inner one is 50 I draw another one 53 uh, so thickness is 3 and then you pad up 1 mm you look like a bezel okay you look like you put a nice bezel and drop it in so then at the bottom we need recess for those this uh, holes and since we pad this up right um, I also drew this divider um, so anyway this one you pad up and you then at the bottom you need to deepen the recess if you don't then it defeats the purpose of padding up right because you want the whole toggle um, body to go in higher okay um, then this one the knob um, I downloaded from somewhere I don't know Thingiverse or Yegi or something so anyway if you find something like this in my uh, miscellaneous panel uh, from episode 4 of the F15 uh, playlist what I did was I removed the center one right because it was it requires a screw so this one you don't do it you just leave it as is and then you just at the bottom have a sketch and draw this rectangular slot uh, to fit the flat level toggle okay and they are done so um, but before that you need to know how to convert this um, STL to be editable okay to, to become an object um, see that video I explained I showed the steps so now another video episode 13 shows how to build this knob okay basically a cylinder then two more cylinders up here two cylinders below and then here you draw also a vertical slot and you're done okay and the same concept okay um you need an on on lever okay for gears it doesn't matter which aircraft you fly they are all the same you need an on on um, toggle not a three-way it must be a two-way because the lever is up down you don't it doesn't stop in the middle okay stop it stopping in the middle is a three-way It's up or down so there's two way the other thing it has to be an on on it cannot be on off if it's on off that means it's only you're only wiring one pin um, and off and half the time you the in the sim it doesn't know whether it's up or down 
okay you need on on then in the dcs bios you need to program such that when is when is uh when you want the gear up you use which leg and then when you want gear down you use which one okay basically you specify when it's up and down and not leave it to chance okay this this is the way to do it i also explain it in the f15 uh they're exactly the same so led holder um, we built something like this and um, this one has a bit of rim when you drop it so this the rim will prevent it from falling through the hole um, this is the one in the middle the ones at the side left and right i trim this right um, there's no rim coming out on one side so that it can fit uh, with the center one so um, you guys basically this one you should know how to build this uh just a box with two holes and two um support all right so then you build the text okay uh raise it up and optional is to build a red light okay so for this light um this one i'm using two leds so when you have two leds you run them in series okay uh negative positive negative positive like this in series but when you are single or triple and more you run in parallel all the negative together all the positive together then the the resistor okay if not it's if you don't do it this way it's not going to work so the red one we is single so i run it like this and then the resistor just like just like when i have three or more and then for this green ones because i have two leds i have to run them in series all right so um look at also my f15 e videos how i managed to handle the resistor without breaking okay i tried soldering three different ways and they keep breaking so i ended up using um something to just clip on it okay it doesn't break so very uh good solution i feel so then for the back plate we want to um again import and this one is simple you just cut out a hole this one you just widen it a bit okay and then we are done then this is the back plate um the size as you can see okay you open it up to have the body of the toggles go through um I think I need to explain this uh show the sketch a bit. Okay, let me do it. Okay, I almost forgot to cover this LED holder. So this is how it looks like. Okay. Have a small rim. It's actually just half mm um wide, but enough and here the latch to hold the LED so this is the dimension okay the, the inside is 27 outside is 29 so then what you do is you pat this first then you add the bottom okay the um, have a box and the circles and you get this okay 3 mm thick then you add the latch just to move in a little bit then add some more okay two more mm the latch is one mm add two more mm then you add the rim and that's it okay 
when you print the text, uh, it just have to be slightly smaller, like half mm total, and it will fit in nicely and rest here. Okay, three mm thick, and then you'll sit here. In enough, you need some distance. Okay, the LED. Um, I'm using the dome shape type. Um, it will be put protruding inside a little bit, and then you have some distance. Um, all like I think like nine mm or something have some distance away. Um, not not directly below. Have some distance, and then it will diffuse and spread out a bit more. Um, this is sitting three mm down, right? And then here protruding. So in total, here is only like maybe six or seven mm um but you do this every time in the left panel i think two places left console and in the front wherever you need an led um you do this and uh it works all right then this is optional the radio call plate uh to be put above the landing gear panel all right for dcs bios um three things to note one is this all the leds are like this okay um the traditional way then in the newer versions of DCS BIOS, they, they started using this. Okay, if you just use this um, without changing anything, it's not going to work. You're going to get this compilation error, uh, whatever is not declared. This is a macro. Okay, so somewhere it has determined that this macro name will be... Um, means this or this or whatever each one of them is given a name and the actual address so you go to your safe games right this um this is bios doc there's an address file h file you open up you see all this okay for it's a long list it covers all aircrafts so you see they, they all have a name right and after the name this is the address so you see <clears throat> this is the the name <coughs> of this switch if you don't want to use this you can put this number here instead all right but if you are copying the new code um you need to you need to basically say tell arduino where to look up this address so you copy the path okay so you in your sketch you include your save games Okay, and put address dot h, then you will be able to compile without this not declared error. Okay, the other thing to note is um the gear up, gear down, um the gear lever. Basically, I said an on on right. On on means it has two pins. Okay, so one will say up, one will say down, but you don't want to use a two position switch three position position switch they all don't work so good thing is we have this rotary encoder even though we are not using an encoder the code that requires two pins will work for this case same thing with the f15e the solution is exactly the same you use an on on switch you use physically and then in dcs bios you use this encoder code okay and you will do gear up gear down if the gear is going up or down in reverse then just switch your numbers here okay or switch the way you uh, wire um, that's more painful so just switch the number here and then you're good to go okay these are the three things to note the macros and this special code everything else is standard okay Um, one thing I noted is I, I learned yesterday is that 
Now, this one I used to manually whenever in Helios we do the monitor setup, right? It prompts you to say reconfigure, reconfigure. Every time we click reconfigure, it sets this and then it wipes out this line. Okay, I have to manually copy and paste this line. Besides, this always it wipes out to my default monitor 1920. So I have to put it back because I'm using this super wide monitor. So um, I found out this special controls, this one here, you just drag and drop into monitor one. Okay, then every time you click uh, monitor setup, it reconfigures your um, setup lure. Okay. Uh, in this case, I have a special one for the A10, not shared with all the, not the Helios one is shared for all uh, monitors. I use different monitors for one, uh, three monitor for the F15 and two monitor for the A10. So this A10 has its own um, setup lower. And if you drop this here, when you click monitor setup, now it automatically add this line here. Okay, and even this, line in green was added um, for you. You basically just need to check the resolution of this and then you're good. All right. Now let's take a look at the panel in action. Okay, we are here in the A10C doing mixed reality tests again. So we have added this um, landing gear panel and um, <clears throat> we can uh, see that the flap is currently up and if I do this it goes down you can see and we can verify from the outside. Flaps are down. Then we do flaps up, goes up, and it's retracted. Okay, that's a bit steep. So now we test um, the gear. At the moment, gear is up, right? So let's do okay the warning light in transition is moving and then all green lights all right so gear should be down that's very tight here and then now we go up again this is moving and gears are going up right so everything is working for this panel. So next we'll be adding uh, CMSC, then this will become more visible. Okay, like the VR part, uh, it will cover this and then the NMSP will be, will be next. So as we add more and more panels to the main console, it becomes easier to fly in mixed reality. As I said before, when you're flying, most of the stuff are in the front, right? MFDs being the most important and your hotels. With this MFD and hotels alone, you can do a lot of the flying. Then occasionally, you know, all this gear and the AHCP uh, backup instruments are uh, good to have. Um, then the side consoles are uh, less important and the UFC obviously very important so um, we will add more and more and it becomes easier and easier to fly um, because we can see our instruments, we can operate the instruments and we can look around us and see the virtual world alright, till next time, thank you guys for watching